Hey everybody, welcome back to Stock Talk with Eric Anthony. Happy Monday, happy 7-Eleven. Remember, free Slurpees at 7-Eleven today, all day. Not sponsored, just a fan. Anyway, we finally got some updates from ALPP from the end of last week and today. So we're gonna jump right into that. We actually have three to review today. So we're gonna discuss some of the the share price and some of the just kind of how the stock has been moving over the past month or two and then we'll talk about how i think this will play into the future for alpp and some of the time frames that we should maybe keep an eye out on as a long-term investor again i hope everyone's weekend was was a good one let's get into it alpine 4 holding subsidiary quality circuit assembly also known as qca announces its plans for a new facility a leading operator and owner of a small market businesses, QCA will be moving to a new state-of-the-art facility in South San Jose, California. This new location and capital investment will showcase QCA's abilities to meet the needs of Silicon Valley tech companies and beyond. QCA anticipates moving the new facility in mid to late Q1 2023 upon completion of a $2.1 million custom build out and installation of a $1.4 million in new equipment. The investment into this new state of art facility will set the company apart from many of their competitors and continue to drive cutting edge customers into QCA and the Alpine 4 family of company. QCA's president, Tim Garcia, believes that this new location will attract disruptive customers, invest in new equipment, and compete for business at a level previously not possible. We have earned an exceptional reputation in, here in the Silicon Valley, and it's about to become supercharged. Competitors will be forced to take notice. Quality Circuit Assembly has been providing electronic contract manufacturing solutions delivered to its customers via strategic business partnerships for three decades. Their ability is to encompass a wide variety of skills, beginning with your prototypes and culminating into the ongoing manufacturing of a complete product or assembly. Turnkey solutions are tailored around each customer's specific requirements. Conveniently, conveniently located in San Jose, California, with close proximity to San Jose Airport and all major carriers, Quality Circuit Assembly remains a privately owned business and its primary aim is to provide contract manufacturing solutions to market leading companies within the industrial, scientific, instrumentation, military, medical, and green economy. I thought this would be a good opportunity just to kind of remind all of you guys out there what QCA has done on a year over year basis. So check out this slide right here. Quality Circuit Assembly had an organic revenue growth of $4.1 million, which was an increase of 24.6% over 2020. This increase was primarily driven by the increased demand for our EV customers. The increase related to the $11.7 million due to the acquisition of alternative laboratories in May, 2021. The decline in organic margin was a function of supply chain issues and the company expects margins to increase starting in Q2, 2022. The reason why I thought we should talk about kind of what QCA is doing, I thought the main sentence there was regarding EV customers. So now that we know that they're gonna be building into a new facility, and have the capabilities to have their production line on a whole other scale. I think this is nothing but great things for ALPP, but there's also a little bit more that came out with this news from QCA, so let's hop into that. Alpine Forest subsidiary, Electra, will build a solid state battery prototype production line in San Jose, California. Electra and QCA will build a solid state battery prototype production line at QCA's new manufacturing facility in San Jose, California. Now, mind you, the new facility will be ready, hopefully towards the end of Q1 2023 time. So let's kind of remember some time frames. We, if you guys were a part of the shareholder meeting, or if you weren't, you can check my video. And we go, you know, slide by slide of what was discussed. But I want to bring this slide to your attention just so we can be honest with time as long-term investors and have a better idea of what we should be looking for and so we could always just manage our expectations as an investor into the company. One of the highlights that was discussed during the shareholder meeting was based around the solid state battery factory that they were hoping to have selected by Q3 2022. 
of the primary locations that they had in mind, the four, as you can see here, were Phoenix, Indianapolis, Tucson, and Houston. Now, from my interpretation reading this, it says that it was supposed to be determined in Q3 2022. But moving back to the announcement that Electjet will have its solid state prototype production line at QCA at the end of Q1 2023, honestly, that kind of just tells me that things are a little bit pushed back. Let me know in the comments below what your interpretation of it. I would love to hear your guys' insight as well. Now with the QCA new facility and, and with the prototype production line that we're gonna have there for Electjet, once that happens, you're gonna need some time to see how successful that new production line is. And you're probably gonna to wanna to get to figure out the data and understand what your capabilities are, what is able to be produced, and more importantly, how fast these things can take place. So I'm very excited to see how things pan out over the new facility because I feel like once we get that information, then we'll for sure be able to figure out the destination of those four cities that I had just previously mentioned on where Electjet's solid state battery facility will be. And then from there, then we can really start to take off and figure out and really increase the production line for solid state batteries into mass production, right? So anyway, let's get back to the story. This new line located at QCA will develop new generations of the AX class of batteries and provide small volume production runs under QCA's current AS9100D Aerospace and ITAR military certifications or ITAR. In addition, the company plans on investing $2 million into new equipment and employee training on this new production line with the goal of having this line operational by the end of Q1 2023, shortly after QCA's move to their new facility. Kent Wilson of Alpine 4 had this to say, QCA's AS9100D Aerospace and the ITAR military certifications make locating this prototype small production run facility within the Alpine 4 family of companies a perfect fit. With the growing need of our customers for US made technologies, this production line will be the first step in supplying our customers and sister companies like Bayou and RCA Commercial with aerospace and military certified battery assemblies setting Electra apart from many of our battery competitors. QCA's new facility will also serve as an engineering proof of concept for our plans to build a larger production facility in the coming year as we continue to narrow down prospective locations. Okay, so there you have it. And like the last <laughs> and like the last sentence said, prospective locations, this proof of concept will allow for them to finally build out the larger production facility and really determine what that site will be of the four cities that we just discussed. Now that we have this prototype production line in place with QCA, I do think that things are pushed back a little bit from what we thought was gonna happen during the shareholder meeting. But we do, we also got some new news today and Electjet seems to be super pumped about it. So let's get into that and then we'll continue this conversation. Alpine 4 Holdings prices a $10 million registered direct offering. Today, they announced they had entered into a definitive agreement with a single US institutional investor and certain existing shareholders of the company for the purchase and sale of just under 14.5 million of shares of the company's common stocks and warrants to purchase up to 14,492,754 shares of the company's common stock. The warrants and together with the shares, the securities at a combined purchase price of 69 cents per one share and accompanying warrant pursuant to a registered direct offering. The warrants will have an exercise price of 69 cents per share and will be exercisable immediately and will expire five years following the issuance date. The closing of the offering is expected to occur on or about July 13, 2022, which is huge and we'll discuss the price action in just a second. Subject to the satisfaction of customary closing conditions, the company anticipates using the proceeds from the transaction to further its R&D development into its AX03 class of solid state batteries, preemptive materials purchasing to hedge against supply chain delays 
and other operational expenses. And just a friendly reminder on what ElectJet plans to do with the solid state battery factory once it's up and running. Their goal is to have about 4.5 million AX solid state batteries with the new facility if it's pumping out at a half gigawatt solid state battery factory, solid state battery factory. Say that five times in a row without, that, that's a tongue twister. The AX31AH class of batteries are ceramic oxide solid state batteries that are designed for energy dense applications that need a powerful battery solution. The AX31AH battery class has three subclasses, the AX01, the O2, and the GAX, with operating specifications of up to 4C charging, and at a 4C rate of charge, the AX class can charge in just over 15 minutes from zero to 100%. The typical traditional liquid battery charges between 1C, which equates to about one hour and two hours at half five or at 0.5C. The AX31AH class can also retain 80% of its capacity for over 2400 charging cycles. And the AX class was designed to be incorporated into a battery stack solution, perfect for power wall, smaller ESS solutions, golf carts and EV vehicles. And like they had mentioned before and how they mentioned in the shareholder meeting, this pilot production plant is gonna be geared towards the EV customers just like QCA had also mentioned in their announcement. In fall 2022, ElectJet will begin producing an improved graphene enhanced AX version and they're gonna call that the GAX. Now, what's interesting about what Kent had said and what I just read, we talked about the AX01, the AX02, and the GAX, but Kent had mentioned something that I haven't heard before, and that was the AX03. So hopefully we get a little more information on that, or is that gonna be the replacement name for the GAX? I don't really know. I'm gonna to try to find out, but I just wanna bring that to your guys' attention. Well, anyway, that's the news today regarding ALPP, the QCA new location that will take place at the end of Q1 2023 out in San Jose. We're gonna now have the pilot production line ready for ElectJet also in that facility so we can get a true idea of where things are headed. So again, all good things. I think we're gonna be hitting a little bit of a delay to be honest with you, but I don't think there's, you know, from the price action point, I didn't see anything go up. I don't see really anything come down. If you guys can look at the chart here, it seems that we have starting to really find a bottom in the lower to 60s, mid 70s area. Even from the news that broke out on Friday, there wasn't really that much price action. I'm wondering how much of this has to do with the offering. And once that offering closes up on Wednesday, will we get a much better idea of how the market is really grasping this news and how it's going to affect the share price moving forward. And look at what ElectJet said too. Thank you Alpine 4 Corporate for this additional R&D money. We continue to move forward with our cutting edge battery tech. And so as you can see, Electra is super excited with the news that was um, dropped last week. And it sounds like that 10 million is gonna go, a lot of it's gonna go straight to them. So pretty pumped to see where this goes. And hopefully this just really amps up, no pun intended, the production line and where we, where we are from today. And hopefully a year from now, we're discussing mass production with regard to the new AX03 and the GAX with regard to solid state batteries. And again, Gino, I just wanted to, you know, quickly touch on the share price activity. Over the last month, it's been down just under 3%. ALPP over the past three months is still down, hovering under 35%. And again, we've just really, for the past month or two, we've really just been in that, you know, 60, 70, 80 cent, you know, that channel. And we really need something big to kind of break out of it. And hopefully let's kind of get back to the dollars the dollar range, which would be fantastic. I think the news that we heard over the weekend for some might not be the most exciting news as I think there's many of us that are waiting to get that big contract news or figure out who are some of these new partnerships, if there are any. But looking at the longer scheme of things and looking at the big picture, you know, when in doubt, zoom out. And again, always remember the stock is not the business and I think this, these news updates are a clear indicator of that as ALPP does have big plans on where they take ElectJet and the solid state battery facility. And so I think all of us have to just continue to be patient and see this through. 
But again, a lot of the stuff that we heard today isn't going to be coming into fruition until the end of Q1 2023. So keep that as a reminder for all you guys that are continuing to invest and continuing to see this company grow. But anyway, like always, thank you so much for checking in with Stock Talk with Eric Anthony, and I'll see you mañana.